Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for quite a while and I'm so sorry about that. I won't bore you with all the stories, but just know that I'm back. I have tons of really fun videos coming to you this summer all about thrifting. And today I'm showing you my bathroom makeover. I've been collecting pieces over the past few weeks and this is great inspiration for someone who isn't looking to make drastic changes in their bathroom. Maybe you're renting. Um, so yeah, I just put together the pieces and would really love to show you. So let's jump right in. All right, so welcome to my bathroom. Uh, starting with the countertops here. Uh, I'll just start in this corner. So probably one of my favorite home decor finds as of late, this amazing vintage leopard print vase. Uh, so this vase is glass, um, it's like super shiny, it's got, um, you can tell that like the, the leopard detailing is painted underneath the glass, um, and I'm not going to pick it up right now, but there's a vintage Sears tag on the bottom that says it was $125, and I picked it up at the Goodwill in Haight-Ashbury for $9.99. So that was absolutely amazing. Um, I was trying to figure out what to put inside of it and a few days later I found the set of two palm leaves for $4.99 and I just thought it was like perfect. It gives such jungle vibes to the bathroom which is kind of what I was going for. I wanted a ton of greenery and this is just like the perfect accent. Um, so then moving on to this candle, it's a world market candle. It's really large. It's vanilla scented and it looks like it was $5.99. Oh, and then I can't really tell how much it was originally, but um, it's awesome. I love picking up candles at the thrift store, because, especially giant ones like this, because I just love the ambiance that candles give to any room, really, um, especially when they're scented. I'm not um, a diffuser girl. I just ha like haven't had great experiences with essential oils. So I'm all about the candles and the incense. Um, so that's nice. It's just a great neutral color. And then moving on to another awesome find that I got recently, this pineapple dish dish. Yeah, soap dish, thank you. <laughs> um, pineapple soap dish. It is so cute. In the past, I've just had a liquid soap and I'm actually going plastic free in the bathroom. Um, and so I wanted to transition to uh, bar soaps. So when I went to the thrift store and I found this one, I think, let me just see if I can pick it up quickly. Oops. Oh yeah, $2.99. So just get that on. Um, for the video um, so that was awesome and then the uh, the soap is from sage natural wellness I a friend of mine uh, used to work there so he just gave me a bar for um, Christmas and so I just finally uh, pulled that out then moving over to this side um, I think a lot of you will recognize this snake plant um it was in my room but it's just not been doing well as you can see so i've been moving around moving it around my apartment trying to find it uh, a home where it can be happy and because this bathroom doesn't get a ton of natural light i think it is doing better uh snake plants don't really need a lot of light so i'm gonna keep him in here for now uh, and again i wanted a lot of greenery um, speaking of, then we move on to this little tropical plant. Um, I've just popped him into this basket, which is clearly a little off center. Um, the basket was $3.99 from Goodwill on Fillmore Street. It was originally brown and I thought that kind of clashed, so I just gave it a coat of black spray paint. Um, so then moving on to this guy, I'm really excited about. So I was I am really, really obsessed with the boob and butt prints from Society6. 
and uh, they do it in everything and they have a shower curtain that I think um, I think Lone Fox if anyone watches Lone Fox he has a shower curtain um, but it was just out of my price range and uh, you know just didn't want to didn't want to go with the shower curtain uh, but I really wanted to bring an element of that in and so I just decided to DIY it um, I just took out my watercolor set and made a bunch of different um, brown blobs, I guess, and then I went over with a black sharpie and just outlined some butts, and I think it turned out super cute. I'm really happy with it. And then I just um, put a nail, a small nail on the wall, and used a butterfly clip. And then I have this little frame from Goodwill, which was $4.99. And I originally picked it up because of the matting. Uh, it has really nice matting, and I thought I would replace the image. But when I decided to put it in here, I realized it was kind of a cute image for the bathroom. It's this little monkey, and he's in a diaper on a clothesline. So I'm, I'll just keep him for now, I think. Um, okay, so then moving on to the side of my bathroom so you I'm not going to show you the shower right now because like I said I'm in the process of going plastic free and I want to save what's in my shower for a different video um, you'll also notice that there's no toilet in here because uh, we have a separate wet closet is what it's called um, that's really typical of San Francisco apartments to separate the toilet from the rest of the bathroom it's just down the hall but uh, for a different video um, so then we just have these wooden wall hooks, which were here when we moved in. I have my pink towel, and then I have this little setup here. So some of you might recognize this from my dining room tour. Um, I absolutely love these chairs in the sense that they are beautiful to look at, but they are super impractical as like actual seating the backs they get like bent out when you lean back and I'm just really afraid they're gonna snap when someone sits in them so I've decided to get new chairs and I'm using it now as a stool so they just have these chrome legs and this wood um, seat and then I've just placed this basket here on top to hold our towels um, this basket was $6.99 at Goodwill and it still had the tag from it was a threshold basket so it was from Target and it's just this like three texture color basket that I think is really really nice um, so yeah this is just a little subtle corner and then I'll move over to the floor so I'll move on to this wooden thing. Um, it's a substitute for a bath mat and I absolutely love it. Uh, we had one in my last apartment and I had never seen one before and I just thought it was genius because it has like slats um, so that the water trickles through and then it just like evaporates throughout the day and you never step on a soggy bath mat if you have like roommates and there are multiple people showering. It's just amazing and it's like seems way more hygienic. So um, I knew that I really wanted one and I was gonna purchase one like just from a regular store actually. And then um, I was at a Goodwill outlet and I found one for $2. So I was super stoked on that. Uh, and then moving over on to this Moroccan rug, or Moroccan inspired rug, I should say. I don't think it's, uh, it's definitely not a, an authentic Moroccan rug. Um, but I found this at the Goodwill on Fillmore and I just really loved the pop of yellow. I think it accents this room really nicely and it even has blues in it that complement the wall color. Um, and I hadn't really known what to do because I'd bought this a while ago and it didn't really fit in my room. So I was like, what should I do? Uh, and then I just, on a whim, popped it in here and I really love it. And so do my roommate. So um, it has a home now. So that is everything in the bathroom. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you're interested in more thrifting videos. And also be sure to subscribe because like I said, I have a lot of content coming to you this summer and you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, till then.